Nations around the world still reeling from this morning's announcement, possibly the most significant event in recent history. We repeat, the Superman exists, and he is American. Even a superhero movie that looks pretty cool needs to flow, it needs to have energy, and hey, it wouldn't hurt if its dense thicket of psychological issues actually unfolded to mean something. Unfortunately, not the case for the highly anticipated Watchmen, a surprisingly brutal 162-minute endurance test that still manages to skimp on the backstory and never really addresses the moral challenges and traps of superheroes living in the real world. How long can we keep this up? Congress is pushing through some new bill that's going to outlaw masks. Our days are numbered. Till then, it's like you always say, we're society's only protection. From what? Are you kidding me? From themselves. Patrick Wilson, Billy Crudup, Malin Ackerman, and Jackie Earl Haley star as masked, self-made superheroes who come out of retirement when one of their own, played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, is killed. The movie, based on the popular DC Comics graphic novel, has a handful of visual knockouts but never comes into focus and plods whenever Crudup's giant Dr. Manhattan turns up to ramble in a sleep-inducing monotone. Director Zack Snyder did a bang-up job with the Dawn of the Dead remake, but he doesn't make much more sense out of Watchmen than he did out of 300, which at least served as an old-timey workout video. The bonus is Ackerman's character claiming that she's used to going out at 3 a.m. and doing something stupid. From the safety of your home or office or wherever you are right now, raise your hand if you feel the same way. For Metromix, I'm Matt Pace.